All right, guys, I'm up against the weather and the time, but we're going to do some barbecue pork cheesesteaks on this Blackstone. So let's get it. Okay, guys, I'm going to start right here. We got some cubed up pork loin. I'm going to start with. You could use fresh pork loin here if you wanted to, but I did this yesterday, so we're going to use this. Next up, we got the veggies on the mandolin. I did some onions, green peppers, yellow peppers, and red peppers. For the cheese, good pairing to go with pork, just some regular old mozzarella. Seasoning today will be the Gospel by Meat Church. And then my Blackstone shaker here, as always, I've got the Killer Hogs AP seasoning. And the pork today, we're going to be putting some KC butt sauce over top of it. You can use your favorite barbecue sauce if you don't have any of this. For the bread, we've got some Abrazinos Italian buns made right dry here in good old West Virginia. This is some wonderful bread. If you ever get the chance to try it out, get you some. All right, guys, the last 10 minutes, had this griddle warming up. Over high heat. I'm going to get some bacon grease down here. You could use canola oil or butter, and it would probably work just as well. But since I'm working with pork today, I want to get this little good and greased up bacon grease. Then I'm going to turn all the burners down to medium, except this one over here. Which I'm going to turn all the way off. It'll serve as a warming station. Windy this evening, so I apologize for any of the uh, movement of the camera or any quality of video that may be disturbed. So, first thing we got to do here is get our bedding down. Want to get them spread out nice and thin. Here, we want to keep it more so in the higher higher heat areas, which on my particular griddle is closer here in the center. And I'm sure your guys' is pretty close to the same. I'm going to hit it with some of this AP Killer Hog seasoning, which is you're not familiar with it. It's basically just salt, pepper, and garlic with a few other spices. We're going to let that sit there for a little bit and then we're going to saute it up. Veggies have been going for just a little over two minutes right now. I'm gonna come back and hit it with that Killer Hogs AP season one more time. Give you a quick look here. They'll go about one more minute, and then I'm gonna move it over to the warmer side. Give these veggies a little toss here. Well, I paid up pretty good. So we scoot them over here. Now it's time for the pork loin. Like I say, I've got it cubed up. Got some pork drippings in there, so we're gonna get it there. All I'm looking to do here is basically just warm it up. Once again, I'm over a medium heat, so we'll let this go for a little bit and then flip it over. But before we do that, we're gonna come back and season it here with the gospel, which is the seasoning that I used on this pork loin in the first place. I'm going to work on lifting this over. I'm going to make sure the pork loin juices end up right back inside of the pork loin. I have a video up of where I braided this pork loin. If you're wondering how I did it, you should go check that out. 
Alright. Put this over again. Come in here and check a little piece just to see how warm it is. Got just a little bit longer to go, which is what I figured. Come back in and get it real gentle here with that Church churches the gospel. Turn this one more time here. Now it's time to give it just a little bit of love here with that KC butt sauce. Just to get that good barbecue taste that I want. Give it a gentle mix here. Try to spread that barbecue sauce throughout that pork loin. All right, I'm gonna turn my warmer burner back on here. I'm gonna turn it up to about medium heat, same as the others. I'll note that the pork has been on about six and a half minutes. I'm gonna be making four sandwiches. So I'm gonna divide this into about four equal portions here. Looks pretty close. Throw some veggies on. Time to get our mozzarella cheese on here. I like to go really liberal on the cheese. My family likes just a little bit of burnt cheese, so I like to make sure some of the cheese is touching the griddle on each side just so we get some of that good crisp cheese in there. I used four slices of mozzarella first that. I'll come right down the front here, spray a line of water, we're going to get our black stone basting cover on there and let it go. Now it's time to spread some more of this bacon grease out over here we put down earlier and get this bread toasted up. Okay everybody, my arch nemesis the rain has come out to play. I do not have these sandwiches toasted up quite like I want them, but we're going to have to go what we got. That good burnt cheese that I like. Guys, take a look at these barbecue pork loin beef steaks. Aren't they beautiful? Time to move this operation inside. Now for my favorite part, trying this out. Never done one of these before, but it should be delicious. That is a good salmon. If you get the chance, you have to try this out. Barbecue, pork loin, beef steak salmon. Get yourself some of that. That's it for today at West Virginia Smoking Grill and Outdoors. Subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment if you have anything to say, and share it on any social media outlet you desire. Until next time, we'll see you.